Hi guys, I told you last week I would post a, a video of some of the pictures that I showed you of Diana Garcia. So for those of you who weren't in class with us last week, I talked about an artist named Diana Garcia. She is a Mexican artist. She lives in Mexico City and, or I should say near Mexico City and she makes these incredible creatures and she draws them very large and she puts them on walls like a mural and they are called guardians and you guys might recognize them because we did them last year and what she does is she takes different animals and she mixes them together to make something new something special something magical so i thought i'd show you a few and we looked at these together, but the question I, I would like to ask is what animals do you see? I see some antelopes, maybe from a deer. I see the tiger, the cheetah, and do you guys see the snake tail? And even there's two different types of spots. She also uses magical elements. So the three eyes, that's not a feature in reality. It's something she made up to make a new creature. Let's look at another one. Here is another one. What animals do you see? Definitely the camel, the giraffe. Um, I'm not sure if I see any other animals. Maybe just those two. Let's look at another one. What animals do you see? I see a peacock, a deer, maybe chicken feet. Let's look at another one. So it's so fun about video. We can look at a bunch of them. If you see one you like, you can actually stop the video and, and look at it. Here's one more. This one also has some magical elements. It's a bear and maybe eagle wings, but it has a, a feel like a Native American um, feathers, the way they're decorated. It, it just reminds me of that. Oh, and look at the feet. I'm not sure what those feet are from. So now on Friday, a lot of you made some really cool creatures. And I'd like to challenge you to either work on those creatures and post them either in Seesaw for fifth grade or in fourth grade, I'll talk to you about it. I'll be seeing you um, live. So I'll talk to you on Zoom how you can post your pictures. But fifth grade, you can post in, in Seesaw. So I thought I'd just show you a few more that have been done by students. This, these are from third grade. I see a cat, I see a peacock, and I see an ocean creature, maybe a dolphin. Let's look, at, oh, and maybe um, antennas. Here's another one. I feel like a zebra, a fly. I'm not sure, maybe an elephant. Last one. This one reminds me of a squirrel but it has wings. So I want you guys, oh, and here's one more. This is, this is to show you how simple you can do this. Um, you, all ha you all have different supplies at home. Some of you just have a pen pencil in the back of a box maybe, or a piece of paper to draw on. That's okay. We're gonna be getting you more art supplies. So even if you just have very little art supplies around the house, you can still draw a simple guardian butterfly, cat, elephant. And this one I named uh, Siga fly. I think I took cat, the word cat, the word butterfly, oh, a pig. And I kind of put elements from each word together to name my, my creature. So I am gonna give you the assignment. I, would, I want you to all create a guardian, create a couple of them, pick your best one, and fifth grade posted in Seesaw. Fourth grade, I'll talk to you on Zoom how you can share them. It's 
going to be on something called padlock, I think. Anyways, I'm really excited to see these creatures. I would like to share them for our check-in on Friday. So see you guys Friday and have fun making guardians inspired by Diana Garcia.